I'm going to read the little prince uh, today. I'm going to read uh, the chapter 25. Uh, listen to this. Uh, I read uh, many English books. Also, I listen to my strength to, uh, to read uh, their books. Uh, reading book is very effective and is useful for um, learning English as well. Here we go. Chapter 25. Man, said the little things. They are on their way in express plans, but they do not know what they are looking for. Then they rush about and get excited and turn around and around and he added it is not worth the trouble. The world that we had come to was not like the west of the Sahara. The west of the Sahara are mere holes dirt in the sand. This one was like a well in a village, but there was no village here, and I thought I must be dreaming. It is strange, I said to the prince. Everything is like for use. The pool is a bucket and rope. He laughed and tossed it up and then set the pulley to working. And it's a fully moon and a light on all the water rain, which the wind had long since forgotten. Do you hear, said a little prince? We have awakened the well and this thing. I do not want him to tie himself to the rope. Leave it to me, I said. It's too heavy for you. I hoist it. The book is slowly to the edge of the world and said there, happy, tired as I was, over my achievement. The song of the fully was still in my ear, and I could see the sunlight simmer in the still trembling water. I'm thirsty for this water, said the witness. Give me some of it to drink. And I understood what he had been looking for. I raised the bucket to see his lips that he drank. His eyes closed, it was as sweet as some of the special festival fruit. This fruit was indeed a different thing from ordinary nourishment. The sweet mist was born of the work uh, under the stars, the song of the fully, the apple of my arms, it was good for the heart like the flames. When I was a little boy, the lights of the Christmas trees, the music of the midnight mass, the tenderness of a smiling face they used to make up so the radiance of the gifts I received. The man, where you live, said the little prince, lays five thousand loaves in the same garden, and they do not find in it what they are looking for. They do not find it, I replied. And yet what they are looking for uh, could be found in one single loaf uh, or in a little water. Yes, that is true, I said. And the little prince added, by the eyes are blind, this one must look with a heart. I had drunk the water, I breathed easily, as sunlight as the sand is the color of honey. That honey color was making me happy too. What brought me then? The sense of greed. You must keep your promise, said the little prince softly, as he sat down to beside me once more. A promise, you know, a muzzle for my ship. I'm responsible for this flower. I took my last drops of drawings out of my pockets. The little prince looked them over and laughed as he said, Your bubbles, they look a little like a cabbage. Ooh. I'd have been so proud of my bubbles. Your fox is here a, a little like a hummus, and they are too long. And he laughed again. You're not fair, little prince, I said. I don't know how to draw anything back. Four are constructed from the outside and the four are constructed from the inside. Oh, that will be all right, he said. Children understand. So then I made a pencil sketches of a muzzle, and uh, as I gave it to him, my heart was torn. You have plans that I do not know about, I said. And but he did not answer me, he said to me, said, You know, my descent to the earth tomorrow will be its anniversary. Then after silence he went on, I came down very near here. And he flushed and once again, without understanding why, I had a queer sense of the solo. One question, however, occurred to me. 
Nero was not by chance that on the morning when I first met you a week ago, so you were thrown around like that or owns a thousand miles from any negative vision. You are on your back to the place where you landed. The little prince flushed again, and I added with some hesitation. Perhaps it was because of the anniversary. The little prince flushed once more, he never answered the question, and when one flushes does that not mean yes. Ah, I said to him, I'm a little frightened. Ah, he interrupted me. Now you must work, you must return to your engine. I will be waiting for you here. Come back tomorrow evening. But I was not really assured. I remember the fox, one month, the risk of weeping a little, if not intended to be tamed. Okay, done.